many modern CPUs are equipped with integrated graphics, these are only really suitable for basic tasks such as web browsing and office applications. Therefore, you should seriously consider buying a separate graphics card if you want to play games or edit videos. A key supplier of graphics cards is AMD, and its range of Radeon GPUs offers something at every imaginable price point. The key specs to look out for when choosing a graphics card are the number of stream processors and amount of memory, with more powerful cards having more of both. A faster and more powerful graphics card will enable you to run games at higher quality settings at a smooth frame rate, and it'll even allow you to take advantage of super sharp high resolution monitors, making everything look better too. In this buyer's guide, we'll give you a recommendation of the optimum monitor resolution for each graphics card. AMD is constantly updating its product range, which could make it a little confusing to know if you're buying the latest and the greatest version. The easiest way to tell is to look at what series the graphics card is. This essentially refers to the generation of that product, which you'll always find in the product description. Right now, the latest series of AMD GPUs are from the RX Vega series and the RX 500 series. With prices ranging from as little as £110 right the way up to a cool £1,000, there's an AMD Radeon graphics card for everyone. To make the selection process a little easier for you, we've split the various choices into entry level, mid range, high end, ultra high end, and extreme segments. The entry level Radeon RX 550 has 512 stream processors and it's available with either 2GB or 4GB of memory, giving it good performance in MMO and online games on a 1080p monitor. The RX 550 is also a good option for attaching multiple monitors to a home or office PC if you're not too bothered about gaming. The Radeon RX 560 is based on the same architecture as the RX 550, but ups the ante by increasing the stream processor to 1024, and it's available with either 2GB or 4GB of GDDR5 memory. The RX 560 in a 4GB configuration adds greater games playing potential and can run games on a 1080p monitor at high detail settings. It's a worthy step up from the RX 550, as in games, the RX 560 is over 60% faster. A hit with Bitcoin miners, the RX 570 has flown off the shelves and subsequently retained a relatively high price tag. Yet, don't let limited retail availability act as a deterrent. With 2048 stream processors and either 4GB or 8GB of memory, the Radeon RX 570 is a strong choice for 1080p gaming, with quality settings dialed up to a maximum. Ready to take your first steps into higher resolution virtual worlds? Then the Radeon RX 580 armed with 2,304 stream processors and up to 8GB of memory is well equipped for the transition from 1080p to 1440p and with genuine mining appeal this card may hold its value better than most. Its specifications means that it has more power than today's latest high-end consoles and there's just about enough performance under the hood to try your hand at VR2. The latest and greatest AMD graphics card enjoy the cutting edge features of the Vega architecture. The Radeon RX Vega 56 touts an incredible 3584 stream processors and 8GB of blazing fast HBM2 memory. One of the fastest graphics cards produced to date, the Vega 56 is well suited to a high resolution 1440p monitor or VR headset and promises blockbuster visuals from modern games. A worthy partner for a 1440p free sync display or a VR headset. Want the very best of AMD graphics technology? Well, championing the Vega architecture, the Radeon RX Vega 64 offers a full complement of 4096 stream processors and 8GB of advanced HBM2 memory. A serious piece of kit and available with a choice of air or liquid coolers. The Vega 64 offers raw power by the bucket load and is the most affordable AMD graphics card that can play games at 4K at a smooth frame rate. And if you're still not quite sure which AMD graphics card is right for you, then this table shows the key characteristics rated out of 10 of the main models. We hope you found this buyer's guide helpful. Don't hesitate to speak to one of our helpful advisors for more advice if you still have questions on how to select the perfect graphics card for your needs.